Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, welcome to my class, Introduction to Communication and Public Relations. Okay, so this is the class of Introduction to Communication and Public Relations. Uh, my name is Nabila Kusuma Fardani. I've been teaching in School of Vokasi UGM since 2017. Well, um, this is the course detail. We will meet every Wednesday from 1 to 3 p.m. And then here is the LMS, yeah, the uh, learning management system that we are going to use as standard in UGM. So this is about the course description. Um, in this course, you guys will learn about the scope of public relations, yeah. As we know that even though the major is English, we have the minor for all curriculum, which is about PR. So we're going to learn a little bit about the history, but especially about the development, yeah. And then we're going to learn about the role, function, and yeah, anything related to the PR. Okay, so now we're going to see the learning outcomes from this class. First is that you are able to explain communication theories. Pretty much we will talk about the communication theories, like what is communication, what is interpersonal communication, what is mass communication, etc. Because um, for this series, that will be useful for you uh, in the future, especially in the future of the year. Next is about the learning method. So you guys are expected to actively participate in the learning process. So I will be your facilitator and I'll give you the guidance in teaching and learning process. Okay, so this is the course evaluation. I uh, will uh, give you some assignments, of course, that will um, uh, be affecting 20% of the whole assessment. And then quiz, yeah, 10%, uh, and then attendance, 5%, and then mutual exam, 30%, and then the final exam for 35%. This is the course policies. So, about the attendance and participation, first, you're going to join the gym room, or probably Zoom, yeah, uh, every week, and submit your works via our PR setting class. So this is what we are going to do. I divide it into first half and then the second half. Yeah. So um, we're starting introduction, which is today, and then um, second about communication and PR. We're gonna learn the general um, information yeah, about communication and PR. And then um, the second half. In this part, you will present in a group. So um, every group will actually participate. Yeah. And uh, I will give you this topic, and then we'll discuss it with your friend, and then after that. Uh, you do the um, consultation with me before presentation. So, I'll be talking about the great conversion. Yeah, so if you get uh, 90%, no, not 90%, if you get 90 in your work, so you will get a name. Uh, later, I will send the link to you so that you can access it as well. Okay, and in here, you can see what, um, what I've explained earlier and how we will uh, achieve that. Yeah, so we will have 16 meetings in total, including the midterm and the final exam. And then we have some of the references in here, yeah. Here is the list of the activities that we will do, yeah. So you, you can refer to this and then you'll just be fine. I will see you uh, for the first uh, topic of our meeting. Yeah. Okay, good day everyone. Good day, Ms. Nabila. Let's begin today's class and let's pray. Mm -hmm. Ms. Nabila, you may start the class. Okay, thank you, Hana. Yeah, it's so quick, yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it's okay, it's okay for the first trial, yeah. How big is the impact of communication to you? Like, how, how would you use the communication in your life? So, who wants to share in here? Anyone who wants to share? So it's not like a pressure test or something, yeah. And this is a general question, so there is no wrong. Okay, Hanif, great. Mm, I'm I'm want I want to use it to communicate with other people to mm -hmm. share information on how to do something or maybe to to make a deal with other people, something like that. Mm -hmm. So like what kind of occasion? In what occasion? To a be job. specific. A job mm -hmm. or maybe when I want to sell or buy something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, great. Okay. Thank you, Hanif. So, um, Hanif is going to use that for yeah job matters. Okay, Vincent. And after this, Felita, please, Vincent first. Okay, Miss, am I audible? Yes, I can hear you. Vincent? Uh, okay, so I... Uh, okay, so I personally think that um, communication is really essential in our life as a human being uh, because uh, I realize as a human, we are a social creature, which means that we need to 
socialize with other people and the part of the way we socialize with other people is through communication and i'm not talking about a specific, specific stuff i talk about in more general way i mean like when we talk to our families mm. to our friends hey, it could hey, happen so, through communication uh, to socialize with others yeah of course yeah it, it could be informal situation or informal thank you very much vincent and then felita um just like uh, what hanif and kevin has said before it is really important for us as human beings communication is really important mm -hmm. and i actually have experienced it by myself because i am i was a, a volunteer at um in the new normal worship at my church um uh -huh. and it's very important to um communicate with the with the jemaat with the umat um on how the the worship is going to be with the new normal protocols and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Great. So it's like using it for the public communication, yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. I thought one more. Car Carol, did you uh, raise your hand? On I actually had the same answer as a uh, Vincent. So I, I, yeah. Ah, that's why you lower it. Okay. Great. Yeah. That's that's all right. Yeah. Later, you can also uh, uh participate in the discussion. Okay. Yeah. Mm, when we talk about uh why we communicate, we must have many reason we must have many uh benefit that uh we get from communication yeah whether it is a interpersonal communication public communication and then a group communication mass communication etc we'll be discussing about those type of the communication itself however there are some uh several aspects if i may say that uh, communication is not always as simple as that because uh we have many dimension of communication and then communications also have traits yeah ada sifat ya yeah, sifat-sifat komunikasi there are some traits that we can find it not only in our uh, daily life presentation but we might also see in in yeah in, in public communication on television on social media they are really exciting yeah that communication can re can be really good can also kill and as we know we have ever nominated as the country that is most uh, evil yeah in, in in social media toxic yeah the most toxic and and also jahat yeah this mentioned like yeah in asia tenggara if i'm not mistaken oh wow that's such a same yeah so uh, that's why communication is um being studied because most of people uh, or maybe most of us think that we communicate but actually we just speak or we just talk so, yeah and, and and sometimes we don't really realize that communication is that important that it brings many value it brings many effect that's just like what we have discussed last time yeah that this is the the very first the very basic uh, model of communication that it relates with the who yeah maybe us as the sender and then says what is the message yeah and the message itself it it, it can be uh revealed uh, it, it can be assessed in many ways and then in what channel uh, whether we say it directly or indirectly whether we use the medium and what kind of medium etc and then uh, to whom it's about the audiences and then the effect yeah later i will also explain uh, about other model because last time you already bring up about the noise and feedback as well yeah and um, let's talk about effective communication yeah that in here feedback and noise is also written yeah i mean admitted yeah acknowledge in here that in the process of the sender and receiver we need to overcome the noises there are several types of noises like physical noises and then emotional noises and then etc i think we'll discuss about it next week or next two weeks yeah but the noise itself is not only about something that we can hear uh, but it, it can also something that um, are related to our um, emotional feeling maybe and then cultural contacts etc yeah and maybe right now we can find it easily that um, the noise can be also from the technological problem yeah yeah and and, and other noises that that consider new yeah like maybe last uh, like 
long time ago we cannot find it but right now it becomes a new issue yeah like internet connection yeah and yeah etc and then yeah as you can see here that communication has several characteristics and the behavior here is actually the example of this yeah so communication is like a symbolic process this is when we both uh, have the same language let's say even if let's say um, both of the sender and receiver don't speak the same language there will be fine the symbol yeah like maybe if you want to say um in there then you will use your finger to point out and then if, if you want to say like um if you don't know maybe you will say like like this and this is the symbol of saying that you don't know yeah and that is what is meant by that communication is symbolic and then yeah it's um, when it comes to the meaning then communication requires a shared code sometimes we seems we seem like talking about the same thing yeah so as a communicator uh, a good one you need to make sure that you are talking about the same thing the exact same thing in order to make your communication become effective yeah let's say if i say um i need a mineral water then at some point you're gonna need to know like which mineral water that, that i'm talking about yeah because sometimes people will uh because of the strong branding of aqua then some people maybe will give me aqua meanwhile actually i don't like aqua and i prefer le minerale let's say so it will be a miscommunication then yeah so um in our real life then we can implement it uh in the way we clarify something yeah it doesn't mean that every time you talk about something then uh uh it doesn't always like that but especially for something uh let's say in, in in a working field if you are not sure about thing then you can clarify yeah like let's say in a practical thing in the class yeah and then if i give you an order and then you are not really sure about what to do and then you ask me and then i explain it again that's the process to uh, convey yeah or to make sure that we are talking about the same thing and then a third that communication is linked to culture yeah mm, i'm sure that um not all of us are from uh, the same culture like when when we talk about culture also it might lead to several mm, several uh Mm, definition yeah like culture is it about our origin is it about our uh, nationality is it about family culture yeah so uh, when we understand that culture is the aspect that is or the characteristic of communication it is hoped that we are not triggered easily by what people say especially now we linked in we linked into the field of pr yeah so one of the one of the job one of the function of pr is to build a good relationship so when you want to build a relationship with let's say the person a and then the person b you might have different approach because you try to uh, make a good impression by understanding their culture background yeah so the effective communication will work better when you uh, understand that culture might be different so you as the sender let's say will be able to uh, adapt with the situation and when you become the receiver you wouldn't be someone that is easily angry when someone's culture is different with yours yeah is it understandable so far yes miss great okay and then communication need not be intentional so um so uh um the woman knows the meanings of her words and gesture they're not ambiguous to the street offender yeah uh actually this will be related uh with our next discussion that i want you to have a group discussion after this so uh yeah well about the intention it if you check on the communication principle then we can find that intention uh, has some level yeah like whether the level is low or the level is high 
And when talking about this, we also talk not only about the verbal communication, but also the non-verbal as well. And sometimes maybe, maybe we don't mean to do that, but the communication itself is already formed. And people might be misinterpret uh, about that. In that case, especially when you become a communicator, you have to make sure that everything that you do should um should be you should be careful about that because yeah that's why that's why um let's say public figure yeah it seems like they cannot do any kind of mistakes because um people are watching them yeah like 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 we know many cases from our um public figure in indonesia yeah because maybe they don't always have an intention to do that but then us as the public will see it differently yeah so yeah we, we can uh, see from that perspective that someday if we are in the position someone that is um, seen by others then we have to be careful about that and then communication occur through various channels means that um, yeah pretty much uh, the same like verbal non-verbal and then with, with media or uh, not with media and then this is also transactional uh it means that um that is a there's a feedback that is yeah this is like i give you this and then uh you give me the feedback like when i ask you something and then you answer me so yeah that that's uh, the behavior that shows the characteristic of this so um i want you to discuss uh yeah this thing about communication principles but how is it? How's the idea? Yeah. How many people here? We have 32. And then, uh, um, two, including, oh, 30, yeah, 30. And then I will. So, so everyone, do you have WhatsApp call? Do you have WhatsApp? Everyone? Yes. Yes. Okay. So after this, yes. I will divide you. Mm -hmm. I will divide you into six different groups. So one group will consist of five students. And you can leave this um, Google Meet, and then you can have a WhatsApp call with your friends, with your in, in a group, yeah. Kalau dulu kan cuma bisa empat ya, but I think right now we can call more more than that. And then you will discuss this. So I will divide you into six different groups. One topic will be discussed by two groups, yeah, in different room, yeah. Jadi uh, mereka akan mendiskusikan hal yang sama. So group one and two will discuss about the meaning of we cannot not communicate and then group three and four they will discuss about communication is irreversible and then group five and six they will discuss about uh, communication has level of intent however i don't want you to only discuss about uh, the meaning but i want you to bring up a case yeah you can check um, or you can um, try to find the case uh maybe from the news maybe from public figure maybe from social media phenomenon and then from tv from our daily life etc so give us the definition of these principles and then give us also the example of the case related to this principle is it clear okay so now Great. So it's now I will write on the chat box on the group division and I will give you around 20 minutes later when we start. Um, I will give you 20 minutes to discuss and then going back to this group. Yeah. So I will. Um, divide you into different group first. Yeah. We'll just pick it uh randomly it will be much more easier if we use <laughs> zoom yeah but there is no answer until now this is because i cannot become the host before the host enter the room and and after the discussion you guys will uh, pick one uh representative to explain yeah in a very short explanation just just maximum five minutes yeah like uh, the case that you bring and, and also how you interpret the meaning of uh, each 
principle that we are talking about. There you go. We have group one until group six. Semoga nggak ada yang double di sini. If you already find uh, your friend, then you can leave this Google Meet first, and then I will call you back later through Telegram. You will have Thank 20 you. minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. See you, see you, see you, see you, Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Okay, guys, thank you for uh, the discussion about communication principle. And then we will meet uh, next week for the uh, next material yeah, that uh, will be discussed in class. So have a good day, everyone. Stay healthy and happy. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.